Hello, I am Joe Alexi, and welcome back to Morrowind! We're here outside the temple. We have killed... What's his name? Gnor. Gnor. Uh, we're gonna leave his stuff here for right now. Uh, because we're too overweight. Too overweight. We have one quest left for this area. And... I made a mistake. It said that we had to talk to this dude up here. But apparently we have to go, like, down underneath the temple into the sewers of Old Mornhold. We gotta find a tomb down there, and I guess whenever we go in there, we'll release a plague, and then we'll have to talk to this dude. Happy to help. And go from What's there. But for right now, we're gonna go in here, and we're gonna try to find this place. I do kind of remember there was a way through the sewers, or to the sewers, Basement here. I can just find my way around. I'm not sure as to which room it was in. Oh, here we go. Health this looks like it. We'll just keep going down like before. And we'll find it. Alright. Alright. You gotta be kidding me. Okay, so we are in the old Mornhold sewers. There should be a place that's a tomb of somebody. An abandoned crypt. Glass sewers. Okay, so I don't know where to go. That's fine. We're gonna come back to this point. I think for right now, I'm a crap. I think for right now, I am going to run home. Crap, there's all kinds of bone lords in here. Yeah, we're gonna run home before we start this. I'll probably cut the journey in out. But we're gonna run home real quick and drop some stuff off. Because I know for a fact, well not for a fact, but I just have that feeling. We're gonna get down here and there's gonna be a bone lord. He's or not a bone lord, a bone walker. He's gonna blast us with his evil magic, and then we're gonna be like screwed because we don't have alcohol to get out of here. Where how did I get down here? There we go. To the house! Okay, so we're back down here again. We dropped off a bunch of stuff at our house. I got lost trying to find this place, and it tried to tell me that we needed to go through the temple gardens and go west, but I could not find the temple gardens. I found the temple courtyard, so we're screwed! But... This place, the temples, the old Mornhold Temple Sewers, is supposed to connect to the tomb that we're looking for. Get out of here. Alright. So what we're going to do is we're pretty much just going to explore these sewers a little bit more and see if we can find the entrance to this tomb. Now, the way that this quest is supposed to work, I was under the impression that we just had to talk to that uh, Mihara dude outside, and that would allow us the ability to... I don't think it's the abandoned crypt. That would allow us the ability to start the quest, but I was wrong. We don't talk to him immediately. What we gotta do is, there's supposed to be a tomb down here that we need to get into. And, well, I don't know why we need to get into it, but there's supposed to be a tomb down here. When we find this tomb, we're gonna pick the lock on it. When we bust the lock... Oh, wow. Blue. When we bust the lock, apparently it's gonna release, like, a plague on the people. You know, the whole... Oh, you cut the seal to the ancient tomb. Death will follow the cut deal. Uh, and then we will have to try to stop it. But, I don't know where it is, and I don't know where to go, so I guess we're just going to be walking around aimlessly. Well, actually not aimlessly, we kind of have a goal in mind, we just don't know where as to go to complete our goal, and I won't fight 
I do have a glare. Temple Sewers West. Okay, this kind of reminds me of that place that we flooded. So I'm going to put this away. Yeah, it's flooded. Actually, I can do this and take a peek. I see no other exits, so this ain't it. Crap. Crap, crap, crap. I don't know where to go. Like, I said it, we had to go to the Temple Gardens west of the shrine, and then there would be like a little hatch to get in to get to the old Mournholtz Temple Sewers. I don't know. I'm beginning to think I was lied to. I will take these though because I do have a glare. And this does prevent it a little bit. East sewers. Oh! The temple gardens! Alright, boom, we're close. <clears throat> we're close, we're close, we're close. I need to go. Ah, we're making progress. I love making progress. Oh my lord. The baddies. So my wrist is like really hurting today. Ow. Ow. Alright. Alright. There. Going back to what I was saying, my wrist is like really sore today because I had to go and get a procedure done, which is known as a heart cath. It's pretty much where they put uh, kind of like a dye and a little camera up in your arm to, uh, well, there's three ways they can go about it. They can go through the groin, they can go through the wrist, and they can go through the neck. I lucked out and only had to go through the arm. But, uh, good news is, results are in, my heart is healthy, my valves, everything is healthy. Perfect, actually, for my age, and being a habitual smoker. Even though I am officially a non-smoker, because I don't even know how long it's been since I last smoked a cigarette. So that's a plus. It looks like we have been down here. Yeah, here it is. Get... Ginda Rivali's tomb. That's where we're going. But, good news. My uh, stuff is all good, so. Da 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 da. So, I can't figure out as to why I constantly have chest pains. So, since that is ruled out, the heart is ruled out, it's more than likely lung issues. Or something, but we will cross that bridge when we get there. I can't see a damn thing in here. A rancid stench nearly overwhelms you. This is not the smell of the dead. There's something else here. Okay, that just sounded horrible. Okay, so we picked the lock to get in here. So the uh, quest should be started. Like, the plague should be up there, like, ravaging the people. Or at least, that's my guess of it. That's cool. I don't know what we're supposed to do in here. Oh yeah, my procedure went a well, well pretty, pretty good. Did kind of have a little bit of a problem last night. Whenever I got home, like I was home for about 12 hours after the procedure, and my arm just like swelled up a pretty decent amount. And the little thing that they there's nothing in here. The little paper that they gave me, uh, like discharge orders and stuff, you know, like stuff you should do and whatnot after your procedure. Uh, if there was swelling, I had to go to the ER. And I called 911 to go to the ER. So, ended up going to the ER. I'm literally running on 
pretty decent amount of sleep because when I got home at like one in the morning, oh my goodness, did I sleep. I almost did not get to record today. I wasn't really planning on it. I was planning on this week, last weekend doing some extra recording. There's nothing in here. I planned on last weekend doing some recording, and that's what happened with uh, Monday's video and Tuesday video was I recorded it over the weekend so I wouldn't have to whenever I got the procedure done and stuff and didn't really think about it just decided you know what I will just go ahead and not record for like the full week and just pick it up you know where I pick it up okay we need to get out of here and ooh shortcut we're going to use our get out of there thing. Okay, so Divine takes us to soldiers. This takes us to churches. Alright. Now we should be able to talk to this dude. Oh, it's you. If Can you've I heard the you? latest rumors, perhaps someone of your abilities and experience could find it in your heart to help the community. I've heard there's a new strange disease going around. Narel... Enderin, one of the healers in the temple, seems to think it has to do with rats. You don't look s someone who'd be afraid of rats. Maybe you could talk to her and offer your help. Okay, so the healer named Nero Enderin. Alright. Alright, let's find this person. Let's find this person. So the only place I know to find a healer would probably be the infirmary. Justice never sleeps. Oh, it most certainly does. Yes? No, you're not who I'm looking for. Who am I looking for? I don't know. Where are these people are? Are you there? Oh, Health yeah, you are. and healing are my specialties. Hello, Joe Alexi. Interested in the rumors circulating around the city, I can say that I considered them to be exaggerated of the truth. Several people have fallen ill today, to be sure, but it's hardly the epidemic people are making it out to be. As long as you're here, however, perhaps you can, uh, I can ask, could ask a small favor of you. All right. Yes, well, it's not much really. A simple delivery that needs to be made, actually. Jean Eline reported being ill earlier this week, yet refuses to come to the temple for healing. Some nonsense about collection of his. About collection of his. At any rate, if he will not come to us, then we must take the initiative to go to him. Will you deliver this cure disease potion? Yes, I know it's a menial task, most likely beneath someone of your stature. I'd take it myself, but I need to stay here in case anyone else arrives needing assistance. I do appreciate it, Joe Alexi. Just let me know when you've done it. Or delivered it. Alright, so, June and Lee, who are you? His house is in God's Reach. He really leaves it from what I understand. Okay, so we're going to God's Reach. Alright. Progress is being made. Oh yes. So once we finish this quest, the only there's only two quests remaining. One is bugged, and that is the Baron Zaya quest, which it's not mandatory. It doesn't give you a journal entry, and for some reason, I went through all of the stuff that the captain of the guard and her had to say. Nothing. Nothing that will help us. Are you wounded? You should find a healer. Have you acquired the Drop Dagger? Here is the dagger. Well, where is it? I appreciate it. What? I thought we done gave him. Okay, so I might have dropped that at the house. But I could have sworn we finished this quest. Like, almost positive we 
finish this quest. What the heck? Um. Hmm. Yeah. He was happy to have the Droth dagger returned to him, and he paid me 800 gold for it. Actually, I'm here for your disease. Are you here to deliver the potion? Deliver the potion. Thank you so much, Jog. See, I'll, I'll be able to return to my work in full health. Give my regards to Nero, would you? Most absolutely. Most absolutely, we will. All right, that worked out. I don't know why he's wanting another dagger, unless we were supposed to get two or three of them. But as far as I know... Um, I don't know! He must have misplaced it. Oh well, that's on him. So we're going to head up in here and talk to her again and see what she has to say now. But uh, going back to what I was saying, pretty much the Baron Zaya quest is like bugged or something. But that's fine because it doesn't get a journal entry. So pretty much this is the final quest we have for Mournhold apart for the Baron Zaya quest. But, you know, it's busted. Hey, what's going on here? Oh my god, they're everywhere. Health and healing are my special. This is a serious turn of events, Galaxy. Perhaps I underestimated what's going on here. May I ask another favor for you? Or of you? I hope it's not too much of an imposition, but there's another sick individual that needs healing. A film Malus is one is out in the temple courtyard. The ordinators won't let him come in. They've seen the increase of people requesting healing from the temple and fear that allowing him access will only spread whatever disease it is he carries. Can you take this cure disease potion to him? Yes, I know. Please don't hate me, but after those vicious rats showed up, I realized I still can't afford to leave the temple. Besides, I'd like to get a, take a closer look at them to see if I if I can't really figure out what's going on here. Just take the potion to Ethilm Melis. He should be somewhere outside the temple in the courtyard. I do appreciate it, Joe. All right. So Baron Zaya's quest is messed up. All the other quests are done except for this one. So. Hopefully, 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 we will be out of Mournhold this episode. Which means, in our next episode, we will be back at Vardenfell. Oh, I can't wait. I can't wait. I really did enjoy... Whoa, back up there, guy. I really did enjoy the DLCs. I mean, they were pretty interesting. Cool to their own point. Alright, so where you go? Mornhold, city of light, city of magic. They won't let me in. I'm sick, man, and the bastards won't let me in. What? They sent you out with a potion instead of letting me come in. Fine, whatever. I don't care. I'm just tired of being sick. Just give it to me, will you? Give him the potion. Well, at least someone around here isn't determined to let an old man die. I'll just take this and go home. No sense in hanging around here. Alright. You're welcome, my God. You're welcome, my God. So, I've been thinking about, like, when we were fighting that little dude and I tried to, like, levitate. I think the reason we can't levitate in Mournhold is because we can easily fly up and out of the walls. And I'm guessing... Don't hold me to it, I'm guessing. I think there might not be nothing over there <laughs> on the other sides of the walls. So, Trust at least they thought of that. That way people don't break the game. It's nice. 
I mean, it is the city of what light and magic. Oh, she's got guards down here now. Healing are my specialties. Have you delivered the cure p disease potion, Jog? See, I'd be grateful if you've done me a favor. Thank you for aiding me, Jog. See, I'm afraid there's more serious work to be done now that I've determined the Crimson Plague is behind us. I had to do quite a bit of research to find any useful information. It seems the disease was stamped out during the Second Era, but now it's resurfaced. I'm not sure how or why, but I know something must be done about it. It spreads easily and acts quickly. Now that you're one of the few people aware what's really going on, I'm going to enlist you your help in learning more about this reappearance of the Crimson Plague. I'd look into it myself, but I need to remain here in case more victims come in for treatment. I imagine that reasoning is becoming all too familiar to you, yes? Perhaps you could check it out for me. I'd start by checking the sewers and tombs beneath here. If, you, if I were you, the rats seem to be coming from there and up through the temple's basement. It must be something they're coming in contact with. Has informed me that the temple rats are coming from the temple through the basement while guards have been posted to deal with them. She would like me to look into it. The rats are infected with a disease called Crimson Plague, apparent, supposedly wiping out, wiped out during Tamriel's second age. Okay. Alright. Try me. So I guess we just go back down in here and follow the rats. Oh no! What'd you do? You have questions? Oh, he's downed. He's still moving. Shuni must speak with Joaxi. She has seen things. Oh yes. Things that Joaxi needs to know quickly before the guard wakes up. Shinari snuck in and had to knock poor guard out. Guards do not like Shinari. They take her to jail if they see her, and then Shinari will die because she is sick. Joe Alexi must help Shinari, and Shinari will help Joe Alexi. Yes, yes, Joe Alexi helps now. Shinari saw Joe Alexi go into the tomb under the temple. When Joe Alexi left, Shinari went in to see if treasure was left and then Shinari will not say more she is sick and needs help Joaxi will cure her of bad disease and then Shinari will tell more hurry up before Shinari dies meet Shinari in temple gardens with spell or scroll Shinari does not trust potions that could not that could be poison go see Nero Andrin she knows Shinari she will help Okay, so she pretty much just whooped his ass and, like, left him there. So she went in there and, like, got sick. Health and healing are my specialties. Wait a minute. You sell... Oh, she's not going to deal with me, crap. Can I ask you about Shinari? Um, help Shinari. Shinari, yes, I know her, but keep your voice down. The guards have been looking for her. She's quite an accomplished thief, it seems. Here, take this scroll. If she needs curing, she won't have anything to do with potions. She thinks they're all poison, or at least they could be. If you have a spell you can use that will work, too, I believe Galsa offers something that might work. Go quickly, Joaxi. We need the information we can get. Scroll of Chatter has been added. Okay, what's that? What's that do? Cure common disease on target. Okay, so we cure her with that. Alright. Oh. Justice never sleeps. <laughs> <John>. <laughs> All right, now how...
We went through the east sewers, I believe, to get to the gardens. She said she was going to meet us in the gardens, so we'll go meet her in the gardens. Sign of the mice. The sign of the mice means we are possibly getting close. Okay, we need to go down this path. Alright. Excellent. Excellent, excellent. Skeleton check. Ow. Hmm. <laughs> All right, so she should be in here because we're in the temple gardens, but I don't know as to where we will find her. Maybe like standing up on this pedestal. She's probably over near the door to get into that one tomb. she is. So she went in there and she looked around. Uh, I need to get away. <laughs> kind of figured it like if I like tried to chop that rat near her it would do like it usually Ajit does. Has and no time for you. Lightning would be like her. Good Jaloxy has returned. Is Jaloxy here to help? Is Jaloxy going to help now? Cure... Shinari, and Shinari will help Galaxy in return. I will cure you now. Good, good. Shinari is so weak and needs curing. Use your spell, Galaxy, and then Shinari will help. Alright. So, what's that called? Scroll of Churdet's Panica. Scroll of Churdet's Panica. The journal has been updated. I have cure her. Uh, Shaneri feels much better, and now Shaneri will tell Joe Alexi all about Gedna Revel. Or Relbel. Shaneri has said that she wanted that she watched Joe Alexi open tomb. Shaneri has often wondered what treasure lies in tomb, but door is too heavy. Shaneri cannot open it. So when Joe Alexi leaves, Shaneri goes in for a look. She finds corpse in coffin, the corpse gets up and attacks. Poor Shinari can do nothing to fight it. It says it is Gedna Revel and has come to spread crimson plague to all the mournhold. Even though Shinari feels ill, she comes to find Joe Alexi for help. Shinari has said that she watched Joe Alexi open... Okay, so she's saying the same thing. Bad disease it must be for it to make poor Shinari feel weak and hurts her poor head. But Joe Alexi made Shinari feel much better and Shinari will not dwell on how Joe Alexi allowed disease to spread by opening Forbidden Tomb. <laughs> and now brave Joe Alexi will go find and kill her. Okay. Alright. I get your point. We're gonna go deal with this person kill them, and that might stop, like, the disease from spreading. Not sure. We'll find that out. Boom! So my wrist is starting to loosen up. That's beautiful. Beautiful. Progress. I love it. Oh, progress. If you guys are wondering why I did not mention anything about, like, my appointment and stuff, I usually keep, like, my personal, like, medical stuff, like, but I figured I'd give an update just because if I do get, like, a little bit slow on the uploads, I just figured I'd let you guys know what's going on with the uploads because it's actually late in the day for me to be recording, but I will push it through and make sure you guys get the content that you deserve. That you desire. Alright, so where is this dude? Or dudette? 
I don't know if this is a dude or a dudette, but we will slay them. We will slay them in the name of good. Okay, so she's supposed to be in here. It's a her, and she's a lit. She's supposed to just be standing in here, but for some reason, she's not in here. We are detecting an enemy, so I would consider this cheating in a way but it looks like we're not going to be able to progress unless we do this so technically i would not call it cheating my guess is is somehow she's in one of these walls so what we're going to do is we're just going to turn tcl off since we're the only one in here and she should be the only one in here now we're going to look around and see if we can find her wait a minute there's a skeleton there's a few skeletons. How do I get over to that? How do we get to that? Oh, that looks like a... F okay, that looks like a door. Okay, 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 okay. We're going to do this, and we're going to kick that back. We don't need TCL anymore. We don't need any... That, yeah, I guess you can call that cheating. Crap. Oh well, so he came out, we need to kill him, we need to find out how to open this, alright so this looks like it could be, oh I hear the footsteps, oh. Okay, so I kind of... Okay, never mind. Alright, so... I'm not seeing a lever. Yeah, I'm not seeing a lever anywhere. That don't move. That don't move. All right, back to Google. All right, now we're gonna head down in here. It shouldn't be messed up anymore because we reloaded. So where we use TCL commands to investigate further, we should be able to progress naturally. Hopefully. If not, we'll just TCL our way through there. So. Apparently, if we just stand on that stone, it will unlock the doors for us. But that kind of raises the question, if, how did, um, that person get in there, uh, Cherry, I think was her name? <laughs> how did she get down there to investigate that guy? I was thinking she like came in here and like oh boy like threw a leg out and like oh I gotta get out of here <laughs> you know the normal if something dead got up out of a box people would flee all right so we should be able to just stand on this and it opens beautiful Damn skeleton nest. We're fleeing and healing. You know what I think I might be to work with this. I love making progress. When stuff goes according to plan, it just makes me happy. Still can't wait here because there are still enemies nearby. We're gonna flee, heal, and then re attack. Boom, there we go. There we go. 
now we can see a little bit better. I probably should be searching these guys. They may have decent gear on them, but... Yeah, that looks like Daedric. So I don't know how powerful this thing is, this glitch we're coming up. There was a uh, little entry about a bug, but if we're playing a vanilla base game, it shouldn't happen. Okay, I think that's it. Weakling, you dare to cross my threshold. You then will be the first to fall before the undead army sweeps across the land like a plague, cleansing it of flesh. Die, mortal. Wow! Crap, I tried to shut that in time. Oh, I thought we killed her! No, don't kill me! Don't let her get the spell off! No! Oh. <laughs> yeah. So I'm gonna stand back and I'm gonna jank her up a little bit. Yeah, we're gonna jank you up and just give you a bunch of that. Yeah, you're going to take a bunch of that, and then we're going to stab her. And then we're going to fall back, and then we're going to jank you up again. I get bodied. <laughs> I mean, it works. We didn't cheat. It works. Drain health 600 points on self. That would kill us, I believe. Yeah, that would definitely kill us if we put it on. But I'm going to keep it. It's an enchanted item of something of power. And, you know, maybe the uh, museum person would be interested in purchasing that. You know, for a reasonable price. Alright. I have killed getting a relic. Alright, so pretty much we're gonna cheat and get out of here. We're gonna cheat and get out of here. Alright, now we should be able to just get out here and talk to this person again. The quickest way is to just run straight through and then break off to the right. Like this. Like this, what do you say? Have you any news about the Crimson Plague? With Gedna Relva dead, perhaps we've stemmed the tide of the outbreak before it spread too far. I'll have the guards on the lookout for any more rats. There shouldn't be many left now. Mournhold owes you quite a dent. Joaxy, whether it Joaxy, whether it knows it or not, I cannot offer you much in the way of payment, but I can grant you the power to heal. I hope you will not often find cause to use it. Justice and right. are my specialty. Thank me for killing Gedna Relval and stopping the Crimson Plague before it could spread further. She has given me the power to heal once a day in exchange for the help I have given her. All right, that's it. That's it. We have completed Mournhold. Except for the Baron's Eye quest, which really isn't uh, required. It's optional. Uh, we don't get a journal in for it. So we're pretty much done here.
all but the Baron's Eye quest, and we can't do that. And of course, that one dude was like messed up about the dagger, but that's fine. We already gave him the dagger, we already got paid. Uh, let's see here. You know, see, we already gave him the dagger, and he paid us, so that quest is bugged too. So if something's bugging these quests here, but that's fine. That's fine. I need to talk to you again. Latest rumors. I've heard of strange disease going around. Okay, we already did that. Boom! Mission complete! We have completed! More in Hollywood. There we go. We don't want to accidentally put that on. That will kill us immediately. Let's go into our house real quick. Get us a good night's rest. And do our outro. Boom. Yeah, stuff quit attacking us while we sleep, and we quit having nightmares, so that's a plus. But, I hope you enjoyed the video, and I hope to see you in the next one. Thank you for watching, and as always, stay awesome.